about ready to pull this dash. The, the only thing left are, are three pins. And the, the pins are, are located right underneath the defrost uh, vent you know, the, you know, the, that shoots through uh, to, the, to the windshield. And, and there's one exactly in the middle. And then there's one on each side. And so here's the one on the left side. I just kind of want to show you through the glass here what it looks like. So you have these normal vents, but then uh, you'll see a vent that it's kind of doubled up on the edges there. I have this uh, uh, T-screwdriver uh, pointing to it. Um, but so you look for those. There are three of them. And if you look down in there, you can. it's hard to see. But um, And I'll show you a better view when, when the dash is pulled. But uh, there are three pins. You, you hypothetically are supposed to be able to put a six millimeter bolt in there, tighten it in and just pull it straight out. I tried that, it simply didn't work. But uh, what works for me is uh, just a standard uh, crowbar and just uh, very carefully, <clears throat> you just uh, position it about where the, the pins are at and you just go underneath and you, you pull up and it popped right away. So I'm gonna do that for uh, the one in the center and then the one on this side and the dash should, uh, should. Okay, I was successful in popping those pins with the, the crowbar and the, the dash is uh, completely loose now and it, it's ready uh, to come out. I need two hands to do it and I'll show a video as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna remove the, it's called the crash bar. It's really the skeleton behind the, the dash. Uh, it's be easier to do that to, uh, to get the AC unit uh, out. Um, to do that, I'm going to lower the, the steering um, column. It's really easy to do. I wish I would have done this to begin with. There's just four, there's actually um, four bolts, uh, three nuts there on the, the bottom, and then uh, just this one front here, it's a, a T40 um, that uh, screw actually that, that fits in there. It just backs right out, and then the way this is hinged, it should just come uh, straight down. Again, it would have been easier uh, to not mess with uh, steering wheel or, or airbag or anything like that. I could have just lowered this. It would have nicely went down in place. But otherwise, uh, this is okay too. Okay, I lowered it. Uh, just uh, very easy. It just it lowered right down once I took this uh, T40 screw out. Okay, next you'll need to remove the wiring harness and the fuse box from the metal framing for the dash, uh, sometimes known as the, the crash bar. Uh, to do this, to, to remove the uh, fuse box, uh, there's there's two bolts. Uh, they are eight millimeters. Once you take those off, um, you just uh, push up on these and the whole thing just comes back. Uh, you'll need to detach the pins, uh, the wiring harness uh, part of it. There's a loom there and you just follow, you know, follow along on the, the back side here and where it's attached um, and, and along here. You know, you just, you just pop those out, and there's a few on the other side as well. And the wiring harness then will become detached. Okay, next we want to remove the, the metal uh, framing uh, behind the dashboard, sometimes referred to as the, the crash bar. Uh, there are six 10 millimeter bolts for this. Uh, there's two on this side, one, two. There's three on this side, uh, one, two, three. And then there's a fourth one. Uh, that, that basically goes in from the side behind the door here, um, and it's it's hidden back here. And I'll give you a better angle here. In a okay, that that sixth bolt, uh, 10 millimeter, is right behind this. You just take a pick and and pop that open, and it's uh, this little plastic uh, grommet. But it's a little bit more than that. It goes all the way through, so you don't have have to worry about dropping the bolt once you detach it. But you just have to stick a stick, stick a socket in there. Uh, 10 millimeter again, uh, take that out. So it's kind of a hidden bolt. Uh, you'll need to remove that to remove the crash bar. Just want to note here that uh, there's a ground uh, onto the, the frame here, just so when putting it back in that we hook it back up. Just want to say a few things about this crash bar. Some YouTube videos saying how, uh, how hard it is to take out and just leave it in there. Not true for me. Um, but it's going to make it a whole lot easier to get to the control box. So I'd recommend taking it out. Not that hard at all. Okay, next you need to drain the coolant from the radiator. There's a, a plug here. Um, it's a plastic plug. This is the the left side on the bottom of the of the radiator. So we'll just loosen that and 
and drain the, the fluid in the bucket here to catch it. After the coolant is drained, you have to remove the clamps from the, the, the inlet and outlet uh, heater hose that go into the, the heating core. And these are real simple clamps. You just take a, a pliers and you, you pinch them together and pull the, pull the clamp down. I'd show you, but I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, here's the new evaporator core. Uh, this will be inside the car, but uh, these metal flanges go through the firewall. So what you need to do is uh, find the AC hoses that attach uh, to those metal flanges, they're, they're aluminum flanges, and, and there's, a, there's a clip that, that basically um, holds the hose uh, onto them. And, and it's kind of, they're kind of hidden, but you just have to uh, reach down here and find those clips. And you just, they're C-shaped, and you just pull them out. So uh, there it is, and there's another one too. Uh, but you can, you can see how inside the, the car, again, uh, you know, this clip fits like this, and it, it holds the, the hose attachment on. So do the same thing for the second one. Okay, now we need to remove uh, both the blower unit um, and the core, the whatever you want to call this thing. Um, they're, they're, they're attached right now, and the whole thing will come out as one unit. There are only four nuts that you need to remove. They're 13 millimeter. Um, you can see a bolt sticking out here, so there's a nut there. Remove that nut. And then um, same over here. You can, you can barely see it right there. There's a nut there, 13 millimeter. And then uh, through the firewall, so this would be, uh, you can't do it from this side, but uh, through the firewall there, there are two bolts here and, and specialty nuts on the back side uh, for the, the one down here you can get to it easily from the below and that specialty nut here you have to go through the engine compartment and likewise uh, 13 millimeter remove those and the whole unit will come out as one. I just want to add some more clarity on the specialty nut uh, from the engine compartment side. Uh, here it is. If you look way down there, you'll see three areas where bolts come out. This is, this is the center one. I've already pushed it back. Uh, the specialty nut fits right uh, in the center one. Just wanted to add that clarity. Okay, in removing this uh, unit, uh, there's a hidden screw. Right back here, hidden bolt actually. Uh, right there, don't forget about that. To detach the evaporative core from the AC lines that go into it, you need a quick release. I purchased this kit from O'Reilly's. It was uh, $9.99. And I believe it's this one here, which is the 7 8 size. I'm going to try that first. Okay, what I did here is I put the quick release uh, over the, uh, the nipple coming out of the old evaporative unit. And... Uh, sit in, you squeeze it together, push it in, and it should release. It ended up being the three-quarter inch um, quick release that, that worked. Um, also, it, I found it easier to actually do it from the inside because you can, you know, you can pull back. There's more room, and uh, they came right off. All right, um, I've decided to leave the cables and stuff and, and take this off before I, I pull the unit. Um, so I took out... Uh, some some bolts here one two three four and this lever here I think I'm just gonna leave it and it should just come out here and that way I don't have to mess with the disconnecting the electrical looks like that little bolt is uh, that's hold hang, hang, making things hang up with uh, the blower unit in this so I'm gonna Take that out. Okay, so having some problems. Um, I, I thought I could pull the, the blower together with the evaporative core and, and heating core um, together, but um, the blowers can hung up, and it makes sense. There, there's a there's a nut on the engine side of the uh, firewall as well for the blower, so uh, you, you can you can see it hidden right back down there. 13 millimeter. I'm gonna pull that nut off, and I think the everything should come out then. 
Okay, you need to unplug the electrical for that's the blower. You just push in and pull. Okay, I got everything loosened, and I think now I should be able to just reach in there with uh, with both hands and, and and pull it out. Okay, finally, after a lot of work, you see all the parts up here. You see the the inside of the the car, the dash completely removed um, up there. You can see that I, I finally got to where I need to get to uh, to re re replace this evaporative core for the AC. Okay, I need to show you something here as I'm you know getting to this uh, core. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have the, the black light. Obviously, you can see the, the tracer inside. That's fine. But if you look in here, uh, it's, it's lighting up uh, on that core, and I can see a little bit better than what's showing up in the... In the camera but uh, as I look in there and look uh, straight down uh, it's definitely lit up there's several places where the tracer is is uh, evident um, therefore I think I found my leak all right here's the core unit again it's not something I've been working for uh, for days on my off time um, now to get to the evaporative core it's 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 more hidden uh, you have to take off the heating core to do that, uh, you, you take these clips off, don't, don't lose them, and then you know, these uh, little flaps here, you have to be careful, they, they break real easy, like this one is starting to you just pull off, and the whole thing is to come off, and then I can make my way uh, down to the evaporative core. Okay, with the heating core off, uh, you can now see the evaporative core, and even with the naked eye, I can see some, some tracer on it, so again, that's for me a good sign, all this work. Um, I, I just, uh, it's a satisfaction that you know, I think I found the problem. So to get to this core, I have to remove these, these clips, and there's probably a few other clips too, and um, there should be a way then to separate it and pull it out. Okay, so I detach the, the blower, and now the, basically the whole thing splits into, I've taken all the clips off, and you just have to take a, a screwdriver and, and start uh, Push these tabs down and, 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 and separate the two, and we should then get to the core. Again, I wish I could uh, just have a, this filming while I'm working, but I'm filming by myself on my iPhone, and you know, just uh, it's hard to do work with uh, holding the phone. But uh, so I was able to split this apart. I'm not going to take it completely apart because you know, the flaps and stuff. Uh, but I was able to pull the pull it out, and again, I already saw that it was lit up uh, with tracer. But uh, you can see here, even again with the naked eye. Um, and I'm going to take it in inside the garage where I can turn the lights off and uh, should see more here. Okay, I have the black light in the garage and I see tracer element all over the place. I can see it a lot better than, than you can from the, from the camera. Uh, first obvious place is, is uh, right here. Uh, so that's where the, the nipple uh, attaches to the the fins, but that that you should not see any tracer on the outside. It's 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 just lit up uh, all the way around. Um, this is obviously a source of uh, freon leak. Um, I can see it all along uh, these these fins and on this uh, front side here too. So let me uh, flip it over. Oh yeah, it's just uh, again lit up. Uh, several places you shouldn't see any tracer at all and there's just so many places that it's it's evident so i'm confident that i have found the, the freon leak and, and unfortunately it's this uh, the center core um so about 30 bucks uh, to replace it but a ton of labor um, but well worth it finding the source of the problem